everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am still a targeted individual. A uh, bunch of things I wanted to talk about to see if I can cover any of them as I turned into 22nd Timothy, who can't remember what he said 20 seconds ago. Uh, yeah, okay, so I got a call from a friend, somebody, fellow sufferer, who claims that uh, they, that uh, she has visions being fed into her mind, direct uh, video feed, full visual availability, and they're feeding her what seems like live video of dastardly horrible things. And the dastardly horrible things are, are you know, the kind of stuff that would affect anyone. And certainly this person has been profiled and tested and, and you know, they listen to your inner dialogue. They know what you think about, so they know what to torture you with. But, now, I myself believe that this technology exists. Uh, it's not a far step from the experiment with the cat's brain where they hook up the wires and they convert the electrical impulses from the optic nerve back into something visual on a computer. And if you've been working on this for 50 years, you can be sure it's done. Now sending the information to the victim, should a target, should be uh, basically just as simple as sending the emotional data or whatever the remote uh, voice to skull shit is, remote neural monitoring. You know, we have a two-way radio channel into and out of us that seems to be able to directly target certain nerve groups in the brain, certain brain areas, certain nerve groups in the body. And uh, anyway, um, so it, 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 if you believe that this is possible, and, and I do, uh, my only experience with this sort of viewing and Petra and I had this, we had, we were on so much of their mixtures of drugs and Morgellons and going through their brain amplification and everything else that we literally saw things like we could, there were times when she was walking along and she could see herself walking from up above. She was up above herself, looking down, watching herself walk and watching herself from herself in the normal walking perspective at the same time. There were times where we both had the same image of people out in the hallway fucking with us, running down the hall, running down the hall, going back into the room, uh, or doing things where we both saw the same thing in a perspective that we could not possibly have seen because we were lying in the bed with the door closed staring at the ceiling. Now, my theory is that there's a couple things going on here. Uh, who's to say how the brain responds when you pump it full of experimental chemicals, genetic mutation, Morgellons, brain amplification, remote neural monitoring, feedbacks. You can plug it into other people's brains. I mean, there's all kinds of possibilities that, uh, you know, come about. Like, I have certainly felt times where people were clearly exerting their personality on ours uh, like while we were having sex they were riding along with us having sex through us it was clear and you know at the time we just went with it because what are you gonna do but uh, um, there's that avatar remote thing then uh, Petra has visions she sees things in her dreams that are integrated from her subconscious and she picks up stuff that people have done, who they are, where they are, 
uh, uh, what they look like at least and what they've done kind of stuff. Um, there's also the, uh, the consideration that some of these visions, wow, that some of these visions um, could be, uh, you know, made by a computer, they could be created with effects, computer effects, and with computers good enough, artificial intelligence good enough to read your thoughts and finish them for you, clearly taking a visual object and putting it in a frame and you know, maneuvering pixels to make anything look like anything shouldn't be too hard. I mean, you know, Photoshop for dummies, we're talking about Photoshop for AI. Can't be that hard, live video created. Um, you know, 3D anamorphic, uh, whatever. Anyway, there's that possibility. There's the remote viewing possibility that you've developed some psychic ability and you are finding real information in the real world using, uh, you know, because this is what they're looking for, man. Some of this stuff is, is exactly what they're doing. I, I keep trying to figure it out. Why are they trying to scare us so bad? Why are they trying to frighten us so bad that we almost die from fear? There's only two things, three things that can happen that I know of when you have that much, or four things, that much fear. One, that the one side of your brain, the right side of your brain, the amygdala that makes the fear uh, is over, over stimulated, doesn't know what to do with it anymore, too much fear, and it shunts it over to the left side, Meh, all that activation energy, and the left side is responsible for bliss, so you change over from fear to bliss, and supposedly once you reach that state, you stay there, every time you get afraid, it goes to bliss. This is what the guy was telling us, this neuropsychiatrist or whatever, um, about the amygdala. And uh, so that's one thing. I don't think they're trying to give us all bliss. So you could drop dead from fear, give you a heart attack, you know, it causes all kinds of crazy mind disturbances and uh, unresolved things when you repress fear because you have to function, it gives you all kinds of other pathology. There's that. Then there's the genetics aspect of fear and causing extreme stress. When you work with plants, and you have, a, let's say you have a dioecious plant, a plant that's both, uh, that's either male or female, and there's very few of those in the world, so many people know what I'm talking about. Um, and you want this, you have a, a male plant, you want it to turn female, or you have a female plant, you want it to turn male so you can get some pollen and, and reproduce or hybrid that species. So what do you do? You stress the plant, you change its photo period, you know, the dark and light, you change it radically over and over. You, you withhold water, you give it too much water, you withhold nutrients, you give it too much nutrients. You know, you, 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 there's all kinds of things. You can cut into it and make holes in it. You can stress it. And what happens when you stress that plant so much? Eventually, the genes will mutate, boom, and you will get the reaction you want, depending on whether you have a, a true XX or XY or YY. Um, very simple genetics here. Um, anyway, that's my story. I gotta go, and we'll talk some more about it later. God bless.